When exporting data from a John Deere Green Star 3 monitor, the first thing you want to do is turn the vehicle key to the on position or start the vehicle. Once the key is in the on position, the monitor will then begin its boot up process and it will begin to load settings. During the loading settings process, you, do, you want to make certain that you do not cycle power to the monitor for it could harmfully damage the monitor. Once this process has ended, it will bring up the main monitor screen, which varies depending upon how the user has it set up. Then the next step is to remove the rubber dust cap on the right side of the monitor and insert the USB thumb drive. When you insert the USB thumb drive, the monitor automatically recognizes that thumb drive and opens the data transfer page. In this page, you want to hit export data, and then you want to select an export profile name. In this, situate, in this case, I select new, and I suggest that you guys do the same. After selecting new, you can then enter a unique export profile name and then accept that profile name. After you accept this profile name, you can then click begin transfer and the transfer files process begins. Be certain that during this transfer process, you do not remove power from the monitor by cycling the key or unplugging it from the uh, cab corner post or remove the USB thumb drive. This will cause the export process to fail and you will have a bad or corrupt data export file or cause harm to the monitor. During the export profile name process, which was the previous step, the reason I selected new is due to the fact that if you have a, if you select a profile that already resides on your USB thumb drive, all the information on that USB thumb drive profile will be overwritten by this current monitor export. So in the instance that you export a profile from monitor A, and then you go to monitor B and export to that same profile name as you had on monitor A, all the data from monitor A will be overwritten by monitor B. Once this data export process finishes, which could take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, sometimes even 15 minutes, depending upon how much data actually resides on the monitor, you will then get a data transfer complete screen. One thing to be aware of is all, all information on the monitor is written to the USB drive. You cannot select individual fields or applications. Once you get the data transfer complete, you click accept. You can then remove your USB thumb drive, and the process is now complete. All the information that was on your monitor now resides on both the monitor and your thumb drive.